Hey guys, what's up? I'm here today. I'll be revealing the software review of the Motorola Razr. Like I said in the previous video, I'll focus on software and my conclusions with the phone and goes and bad. So yeah, um, just to start, I'm going to, before I start out the the review, uh, uh, my fingers, my my left finger will be a problem. Never mind. Uh, what I want to say is the uh, there was an announcement of the the one of the announcement of the Motorola has announced that. The Dry the Razer Max will be uh, will be coming to Singapore soon. I think is I don't know when it will be coming. I didn't check the full details. But yeah. And and the thing is the and Motorola has also announced the Ra the Razer V eventually. It's the it is a stripped down version of the Razer. Uh it's gonna be gonna be cheaper for the consumers uh like they say it's across uh, South South Asia. Uh, it will be arriving in Singapore, uh, in India, and other countries that is South Asia. So yeah, uh, let's focus in the yeah. That's uh, enough with all the announcement that has been announced. Let's get into the with the software. Now, as you, as you can notice, these the from the software itself, the lock screen was very different. I think this is mainly different. Yeah, I'm gonna switch on the light on the front. Yup, to mainly focus on the the software as also can you can see. Ah, damn it! Now this this work, uh, comes with two point three point six. Um, just to make you guys confirm, this is two point three point six. It on all the box it came to two point three point five. But uh, it was recently update. It was updated quite a while ago, back a while ago. Um, this is the Motorola, Motorola Blur UI. Um, in first glance, it's good. It's buttery smooth. I mean, it's good. I mean, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. That's that's like you can. It's very buttery smooth. And yep, yeah. it's good. You can even customize it. What I love is about the you see the three G the three the three D effects is awesome. Let's try it whole again. It's awesome. You can even do anything. So let's say like I wanna I'm just gonna delete that and yeah. So let's say you say you wanna choose any you can, say, you can choose widget, shortcuts, holders and wallpapers. You can choose anything you want. I'm just gonna choose the the Facebook one, I kind of, kind of find. Yeah, I got a both too. Never mind, don't care. But yeah, um, the UI is good. Now, if you want to, if you want to, to you can't pinch the zoom. You have to, you have to dub, you have to tap the home screen twice. Now, the what's so good about the home screen that. But it's all for this of this one that if you double you can choose the any actions you want so double tap sends it to any destination app you want so yeah uh there's a setting for it um I kind of forgotten where was it uh, that time yeah it, it was in the application settings double tap home screen launch home launch so you can choose anything that it comes with. You can choose to go to Dollar, Gmail, Maps, Messaging, which is I selected, My Music, News, Social Networking, Text Messaging, Voice Commands, and Voice Search. So yeah, um, the performance is awesome. I love it. It's a really good performance. The phone is awesome. It's, it's not the worst, but it's the best. Um, not, it's not really that good. Um, Unlike um the unlike the uh, what the the uh, S two which has better of course UI um been to um Galaxy S two is really awesome but I prefer this phone over the the S two because um the screen is bigger yes it the the S two has the four four point two seven inch screen Super AMOLED Plus and the thing is. 
this one is the two four is a full four four point three. So which I I prefer to get it this one. They are both seemingly the same hardware, but I think I prefer this phone over the S2. Starts with off. Yeah, the the test very the test bar is good. Um, you guys will not you of course out of the box you wouldn't get this 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 and this because I have downloaded the go the go app for this um the wet the weather app so definitely it's great. Um, of course when you press the app button, which is called conference, conference, or whatever. You just yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, you can't, you can't be to zoom like what in the S2 can do. But other than that, it's good. Um, gaming on this phone is really awesome. The performance is awesome. Let's, uh, I'm going to play S6. It loads at fast. Uh, that is my performance. I also focus on performance for this. It loads at skip. That is really loud. <laughs> I got to load up. Now I'm gonna change the setting of the controls. The game's kind of laggy. Yeah, um, performance. Sometimes it lags. What happens? But sometimes lags happen. But yeah, but it's no deal. It's no big deal of this. Um. Yes, it does lag sometimes, but if you guys want, let's say let's choose a map. Let's do this one. Yeah. Now loading. No, it can be slow. Of course, the S two will perform better because um, Samsung make the best chipset against Qualcomm. You can't see the performance of this game, but it's really awesome. Come on. Damn. Uh, actually, I'm a good, I'm a very, very experienced driver. Ah, crap. Of course, I'm, today I'm not performing well. But let's not play too much. Yeah, let's quit. And yeah, say the game is awesome. So, um, on the, so this is the software review. I'm not going to talk about that. There's nothing else I can talk. The phone is just awesome. The app is good. Performance wise, awesome. See, I'm even scrolling faster. Even the phone, even the phone com corresponds with me. I'm like rushing, and it's really fast. It's like I got so many apps installed. The phone is still running smooth. Now, messaging on this one is really awesome. Now, I'm going to move away from it. I'm just going to do a simple text messaging. Here we go. Um, this is not the keyboard that comes with. There's different type of keyboard. You, you, I have downloaded my own, so it's, I have a gold keyboard. But in the in the orig originally it came with Moto Moto B I D I V whatever Moto Moto input method multi touch S swap. Yes, this this keyboard comes. This one comes with swipe it personally. Now, as you can see, as you see, um, in app, in other, in other, um, the, the Motorola phones, you, you know that, um, ah, you know that the, the keyboard, is original is white, but actually comes with, oh, it also comes, now it comes black because of the Super Emerald Advance, so let's do a swipe, like, uh, let's say, like, Okay, the sweat doesn't like me. So yeah, keyboard is awesome. As you can see, I just typed this. Ah, uh, stupid iPod. I'm sorry for the bad quality of this, of this phone. The the picture, the video quality is because, um, of course, I don't have a good camera. So, 
So in conclusion, the phone is just dead awesome. And yeah, so that's pretty much all of it. Oh yeah, I forgotten. I missed out in the in the hardware review of the camera performance. So I'm very sorry about that. Um, let's say yeah, so all the features you can even do uh, auto portrait landscape. Sports night portrait, uh, sunset, and macro. Macro, um, even though the camera is quite close, it doesn't want to focus, so that is a bad point of the camera. Uh, flash, you can turn it on. I'll just do a simple flash camera. So yeah, look at the picture quality in in dark in dark uh, very dark places is quite bad. Uh, in in low in highlight is good. Um, just normal indoors. That's my game console. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, video quality in in 10, 10, 7, 20p is good. Now I just did a review. Sound quality is good, so yeah. So um, now in conclusion, the software is awesome. Like I already said earlier on, so I don't want to talk about it again. The camera, um, which I I forgotten the review about it, but I'm just going to say about it. the camera is good. Take it out, those pictures is awesome, but yeah, take it indoor. I think it will be a bigger hassle. So you might want to turn on the flash anytime you want. Um. Now the good thing is this phone, the phone, the performance is good. I am um, lags at times, but um, not not so not so um, cute, not so seen about it. Like it's not so obvious about it. Um, the 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 screen quality, the screen is just superb, man. It's awesome. The software is good, phone is good, performance is good, everything is just awesome. Data awesome. The bad thing is the battery life. Uh, Motorola can really just make their phone a bit better with the battery life. Uh, battery life is a bit below average for me. But um, let's say I'm waiting just for the 4.0 um, ice cream sandwich update, so I um, just want to get a better performance. And um, the thing is, the um, other than that, it's all just awesome. So, yeah. So the better is just about the battery and the uh, camera that is taking low light it will not be awesome. Other than that, I got nothing else to say. So this is the software review and my conclusions about the Motorola Razr. It is just dead awesome. And is it recommended to buy? Yes, it's really, it's really awesome. It's 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 a must buy. If you guys want to still want to do call and does does not want a quad call yet. Now, if you guys come from a single core processor phone like me, I have a I have a D5 plus, and I just and yeah, I come I came from a single core phone user, so something like this will be really awesome. Yes, um, I'm going to get a quad core phone, and in the end of the year, so I'll do a review about it also. So yeah, see you guys next time. Enjoy this. Kevin saying off. Have a great day. Hope you enjoyed this review. Peace. Bye.